What's up everybody, RetroWolf88 here. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Funny Reviews. In the last two episodes, we looked at Red Dead Redemption 2 for the PS4 and Xbox One, and we looked at Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. Today, we're going to go back in time a couple of years, and we're going to look at The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch and Wii U. And I have got some good ones for you today. So kick back, relax, hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss future videos like this. And let's get into 14 funny and ridiculous reviews for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, we're going to start with the Amazon reviews. And first up on the list, we have a review from your future lead and this individual gave the game a zero out of ten here's their review overrated game boring gamecube graphics and runs at 20 fps the witcher 3 copycat but budget don't waste your money and better buy a notter game this is why nintendo is over wow gamecube graphics no this game in my opinion has phenomenal graphics. Sure, they're not photorealistic, but the art direction of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is absolutely captivating and beautiful, and I think many others agree. The graphics are definitely far better than any GameCube game. Runs at 20 FPS. The frame rate does dip every now and then a little bit in certain sections of the map, which Nintendo has consistently approved upon that through various patches. It's not as much of an issue now as it was when the game first came out, and it wasn't anything that made the game unplayable or hurt the experience in any way, in my opinion. The Witcher 3 copycat? No. Just no. I've played The Witcher 3. Fantastic game. Cannot recommend with The Witcher 3 enough. But The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is its own complete separate game. It, the Witcher 3 and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, they're two completely different games. Neither is a copycat of the other. But, you know, according to your future lead, you should not waste your money and you better buy a notter game. And this is why Nintendo is over. Nintendo is far from over and we'll get into that a little bit later with another review. Moving on. Next up on the list, we have a review from Speed E Bird. And Speed E Bird, Bird was generous enough to give the game a 2 out of 10. Their review is as follows. This game used to be fun, but after you've played for around 90 hours, you start to feel bored. And after 130 hours, you just can't stand it. The overworld was made just to be big, like in Twilight Princess. Okay. Speed E-Bird. First of all, if you can get 90 hours out of a bit video game before you start feeling boredom kick in, that's a win in my opinion. If I play a game for 90 hours and I'm having fun and I start to get bored around the 90 hour mark, I've gotten my money's worth out of that game. I've gotten more than my money's worth out of that game. So clearly you enjoyed the game if you played it for 90 hours and you played it for 130 hours. So Obviously, it wasn't so, it, when you hit the 90 hour mark, obviously you weren't so bored that you wanted to stop playing because you kept playing for another 40 hours. And then you say at the 130 hour mark, you just couldn't stand it anymore. Moving on. Next up on the Metacritic side, we have a review from Sun Wukong123, who gave the game a 0 out of 10. Breath of the Wild is an incredibly boring game with no incentive to keep you playing. The weapons break too easily. Climbing is a pain in the ass, and here's the kicker, folks. And Link gets out of breath faster than ob an, an obese 90-year-old. Wow. Link gets out of breath faster than an obese 90-year-old. I don't even know what to say to this one, so we're just going to move on to the next review. This review comes from Duke Dobo, and Duke Dobo gave the game a 0 out of 10. Their review is as follows. This is my first Zelda game, and it will be my last. I am truly disappointed by this game. I played Oceanhorn, which was so-called Zelda clone, and I liked it. And I very much liked it. Ocean Horn, Horn is, a, is a pretty good game. I enjoyed that game as well. But it is not anywhere near as good as any of the Zelda games, much less Breath of the Wild, in my opinion. Now, I still like Ocean Horn. Just want to point that out. Let's continue. What I didn't like about this Zelda is that it is just boring. You got an open world that you got so many things to do that you actually lose you actually lose your focus on the important things for a game. 
Kill the villain and save the princess. All these climbing around, looking for shrines and treasures, cooking, writing, for me was just boring and actually without them you cannot progress in the game well. Overall this was around 200 hours of my life I can't get back, which is more than a week vacation in Italy or the Bahamas, which I spend chasing crickets and boring climbing hills to find something that I even don't know where it, what is there. What? Did I mention that the game is boring? Yeah, you mentioned it a couple of times. Oh yeah, it is. The game can be 10 times shorter and simple with the same appeal of graphics, sound, physics, and story. For me, this game is a waste of my time and money. Again. Here we have an example of another person that claimed that they spent around 200 hours playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you've spent 200 hours playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, obviously you enjoyed the game or you wouldn't have played it for 200 hours. You would find out within the first five to ten hours if you're gonna enjoy the game or not and most normal people if they don't enjoy the game by then they're not gonna continue playing for another 190 hours so clearly Duke Dobo you enjoyed the game or you wouldn't have played for 200 hours unless you just like spending hundreds of hours playing a game that you don't enjoy moving on oh this one's a doozy this review comes to us from COD athlete one the name of the reviewer should tell you everything. They gave the game a 0 out of 10 and here's what they had to say. Do not waste your money on this game and do not buy a Nintendo Switch. The Switch is already very underpowered, has no games, many design flaws, and is just a piece of crap gimmick for 5 year olds and nostalgia neckbeards. Breath of the Wild is a piece of shit game I'm assuming is what he's saying. You'll be running around killing people in a bland ass field for hours and get bored right away. It is extremely repetitive and boring with zero action going on and here's the kicker. If you want a good game worth around 60 bucks go buy Call of Duty, PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege or literally anything else on a good console. Xbox or PS4 that has a game library instead of running around in a huge field play anything else. I think we all know what type of gamer this is. This is one of the real gamers, the hardcore gamers that, you know, real games, he plays real games like Call of Duty, PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege. Now look, there's nothing wrong with those games. Those are all perfectly fine games and if you enjoy playing those games, that's perfectly fine. If those are the only games you like to play, that's perfectly fine. I have no issues with that. I like Call of Duty. I bought Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and I really enjoy that game, besides the microtransactions. But other than that, I really enjoy the game. But for you to insinuate that the Nintendo Switch is a piece of crap gimmick for five-year-olds with no games, five-year-olds and nostalgia neckbeards, that's just ridiculous. Why, why are you belittling people for enjoying a console that you clearly do not like. You're clearly more on the PC, PS4, and Xbox side of things, which that's fine too. I love all consoles, but clearly you do not, and you think people that do not like PS4, Xbox One, and Call of Duty, and PUBG, and Rainbow Six Siege are either five-year-olds or nostalgia neckbeards. This is one of the problems with the game, with with um, a small portion of the gaming community. I feel like this type of individual is a very small portion of the gaming community. You know, what more can I say? Moving on. And this is actually going to be the last Metacritic review before we move on to Amazon. We have a review from Fusion HAA. And Fusion HAA gave the game a 0 out of 10, and here's what they had to say. Boring, uninspired game. Don't listen to fanboys praising this terrible game because they want to justify their purchase of bad console. But mark my words, this game will be forgotten in a year. Okay, let's talk about some sales data, shall we? The Nintendo Switch. This sales data comes from Nintendo's website, their investor investor relations information, and these are sales for the Nintendo Switch console as of December 31st, 2018. They have sold 32.27 million hardware units. That is insane for a brand new console that hasn't even been on the market for two years. So yeah, Obviously, it's a bad console because nobody's buying it. Let's talk about the sales for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This same sales data also comes from Nintendo's website. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch as of 12-31-2018 
has sold 11.68 million units for the Switch. Then if we switch over to VGSales.com, we will see that it has sold another 1.61 million units for the Wii U for a total of 13.29 million units, which makes The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild the best-selling Zelda game of all time. But, you know, according to Fusion HAAA, the game will be forgotten in a year. Moving on. All right, now we're going to move on to the Amazon reviews. And I realize now that earlier in the video I said we're starting with the Amazon reviews, but those were actually Metacritic reviews. Let's move on to the Amazon reviews for real. And we're going to start with a review from Janice M. Lee, who gave the game a 1 out of 5. Their review is titled Nintendo Switch Suckers Bet, whatever that means. Here is their review. Beware, this system is to be the upgrade to the Wii. It loses all the cool stuff about the Wii and adds nothing. It is a money grab by Nintendo. Nintendo, not Nintendo, but Nintendo, used to play multiplayer monster truck. New version is single player. Keep your money in your pocket. I don't know what any of that means. Let's move on to the next review. Next up from Amazon customer. Their review is a one out of five and it is titled the most stupid game of all on the switch. Here's what they had to say. We bought this game hoping for something interesting, but no, no one in our family wanted to play it. After returning to Amazon, I did not get any money back. Okay, moving on. From Dr. R, who gave the game a 1 out of 5, their review is titled, I so badly wanted to do a 5 star, as the game itself is amazing. The support behind it is an absolute horror. And here's what they had to say. Nightmare experience obtaining DLC downloadable content. I so badly wanted to do a 5 star, as the game itself is amazing. The support behind it is an absolute horror. Do yourself a favor. One, go buy the disc. The disc? This game's on a cartridge, not a disc. Two, have a buddy get you the code for the DLC. I don't know what this person is talking about. You can go on the eShop and you can buy the DLC for Legends of the Breath of the Wild like that. So I don't understand why they're having such a nightmare experience obtaining DLC. That makes no sense to me. If anyone else has any idea why they're saying that, let me know in the comments down below. But in the meantime, let's move on to the next review. Next up, from Samus Aran. So Samus is reviewing games now. This is cool. They gave the game a 1 out of 5, and their title for the review is Want the Other Zeldas. And here's what they had to say. Bring back the other Zeldas. I do not like this Zelda. Everything is changed. It gets annoying going back and forth. To get 120 shines, yes, it's open world, but my favorite Zelda, and still... The best to this date is Orcarina of Time. This Zelda feels nothing to it. Swords Brack Break, B-R-A-K-E, and music not that good as well. This is by far not a five-star game. Maybe a four to three and a half. One out of ten. <laughs> Oh, wow. First off, I want to point out that their favorite Zelda game is Orcarina of Time. I've never played Orcarina of Time. I might have to look into that. Second of all, they say that it's not a five-star game, maybe a four to three and a half stars, but yet they gave it a one out of five, but then at the end of the review, they say a one out of ten. What? Okay, moving on. This next review comes from Amazon Customer, and they gave this game a one out of five, and their review is titled One Star. Here's their review. I hate this game. There's monsters everywhere. And 12 people found this helpful. <laughs> oh, of course there's monsters everywhere. Moving on. Next up, from Eric M. Katz. They gave the game a 1 out of 5. And here is what she had to say. Her review is titled, Worst Soundtrack Slash Sound Effects Ever. She says as follows, I can't say that I have ever played the game as it has never interested me. Then why are you reviewing it? I do, however, have a boyfriend that plays it for hours and raves about it. And while I hear wonderful reviews, as a person who is stuck listening to it at home, it by far has the most annoying soundtrack and sound effects of any game. I happen to be a gamer myself, so no, I am not annoyed my boyfriend plays it. Google this game and soundtrack annoying and you will see what I mean. So while it is probably a great gift for those that actually want it, 
I would recommend you purchase headphones or earplugs with it. And seriously, listening to Battlefield or Call of Duty shooting in the background is far less annoying. So Erin hasn't even played the game. She literally went on Amazon to review the game because she doesn't like hearing it in the background when her boyfriend plays it and her boyfriend gives it rave reviews because that makes perfect, perfect sense. Moving on. Next up from another Amazon customer. They gave the game a 1 out of 5 and their review title is Disappointing, Overhype, Just a Letdown. Here's their review. Zelda Breath of the Wild is a letdown for me. Total trash. I bought a Switch and Zelda for nothing. I don't see the, the Nintendo being irrelevant in the next five years, which is sad because I invested so much into the Switch. Hundreds of dollars down the drain. I'm stupid. I should have bought Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn uh, is a very good game, so you should buy that as well as Zelda Breath of the Wild. Continuing on. Breath of the Wild to me is just a open world jigsaw puzzle that never came with all the pieces. <laughs> Here's what's funny about this review. They say that they don't see Nintendo being irrelevant in the next five years. So basically there's a double negative in that sentence. They use the word don't and they use the word irrelevant. So they cancel each other out. So what they're saying is they do see Nintendo being relevant in the next five years. Moving on. Okay, folks, this brings us to our final review on the list. And this review comes to us from, I believe I got this one from walmart.com. Yep, this one comes from walmart.com. Um, and this customer wrote this review while using jet.com, whatever that means. They gave the game a one out of five and their review is titled, The Price is Wrong and Here's What They Had to Say. No one will pay over 200 for a game. What? The game doesn't cost 200. Unless you're talking about one of the limited collector's editions. I, I don't understand what this person is saying. I don't understand what half of these people are saying in any of the reviews that I've read and any of the videos that we've done thus far. But I get a kick out of it and I hope you do too. And there we have it. 14 funny and ridiculous reviews for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch. Um, you know, I had to do a little digging to find these. I don't feel like these reviews were quite as entertaining as our Red Dead Redemption 2 reviews and our Super Smash Brothers Ultimate reviews, which by the way, I'll leave links to both of those videos in the description down below. But these reviews were still entertaining to me at least, nonetheless, and I hope they entertained you as well. If they did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this, including a ton of really cool content that we have planned in the future. Leave a comment down below about the review that you felt like was the most entertaining out of the 14 that I read to you today. And if you have any ridiculous or funny Zelda of any kind reviews that you have found on the internet, let me know those in the comments down below as well. That's going to do it for this episode of Funny Reviews. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good weekend. You wouldn't have played it for 200 hours.